and hello to those non-humans also watching. Gita Rose here. Thank you for tuning in. This week's video is about processing, being in our emotional process. So last week I gave a little teeny bit of an expl explanation about my, my current journey. Um, so I'm going through some romantic changes in my life, a bit of a, a breakup and a shakeup, and I'm sad. Um, but also able to see all of the different plot twists and necessities that the character is going through, all that stuff. Um, but I'm in pain too, you know? And there's a type of a death, a mourning, a sadness. And this particular individual is bringing up all of the things that I know that I already knew about myself, things, questions that I've already been having in regards to my core fundamental beliefs and how I am choosing to spend my time. Um, I'm filming on my iPhone uh, because my DSLR camera is, uh, the batteries are out. <laughs> and that's how I feel right now, honestly. Like, I just feel drained. I feel like my batteries are depleted and I am not excited to really be on social media that much and I went back and forth about even making this video and it's just these moments of process of of breaking down our system so we can ultimately transform like leads us to really subtle questions about each and every moment right and I had a um, I had someone on on Facebook leave a comment about on last week's video like oh fake it till you make it kind of idea and I didn't see anything on the comment thread because I like I said I just don't even want to be engaging on social media like I don't even want to be like t typing things I don't even I don't want the devices around me or like in my hands um, but I just wanted to address that that was like so not the point of last week's video because it really isn't about faking it. It's about being authentic in the expression of the experience enough to see all of these things that aid us in having a wider perspective. And I really feel that in order to do that, it's really feeling the feelings. Like I talked about, like I processed a lot and like went through like the, the drama stages of things and I'm still in ways in that. Like I'm just, I just feel, I just feel, I guess the word is depressed, but I'm actually excited about being depressed. <laughs> so I don't know if we could actually label that depressed but it's like the authenticity and diving really really deep into that honest pathos that allows us to, to know that we're on the stage to be able to see all these different things right And there's the there's these moments in these explorations of these denser emotions that are ultimately extremely integrative because they lead us to finding our beliefs. There is this space of being in these deeper places where we can more easily access that state of not knowing. Like you're just like, I don't know. I don't know where to, I don't know. That type of mourning, that type of death, right? And we all have our own limits of like what can trigger that. We all have our own stories. And 
I think many of us are going through these transitions right now because it brings such deep, profound transformation. And keeping, of course, the appreciation. But like I say, it's having this knowingness of being on the stage of being able to see all of these other aspects right or the the another way to say it is like a, a slightly bird's eye perspective to be able to like see other storylines while you're simultaneously in your expression and not necessarily over identifying with it just allowing it to flow through you like really being an actor being your own character it's kind of a compartmentalization in a way but from my perspective, it's you're like you're not faking anything. You're just being really present with the fact that you're just like a vessel in an experience who's partaking in this part of the show, and it's just like flowing through you. And it's that's the emotional processing bit that I didn't really go into, and I'm just kind of showing you now. So a lot of us are going through this, and a lot of us, I think, are having different reflections of this that allows us to maintain our own personal perspective. That allows us then to find the vibration of appreciation a lot easier. So, for instance, one of my friends, coworkers at my normal human restaurant job, she's young, her dad just passed away. Um, it was an accident and he was really young and her name is Willow, interestingly enough. And so that's just one external reflection that also has synchronicity tied into it and he's a really profound, connected, spiritual individual. So being able to like notice these director's notes, notice these synchronicities, gives us perspectives of things and there can be these moments, right, where we really don't know. And that is an absolute state of knowing in and of itself. It's just really uncomfortable. And right now, like doing this, I feel weird. I feel uncomfortable. I feel really vulnerable. But this is how I'm able to truly have a positive, integrative relationship with feelings, again, that we classify as these negative feelings, but they're not, they're extremely integrative of being uncomfortable, being scared, being unsure, being anxious, that eventually we can find the beliefs, right? But there's this moment, at least for me, in this point in time in my life where, like, I don't even have the batteries, I don't even have, like, the strength or the will, the desire to search for... The beliefs it's just feeling me just allowing it to course through and riding these different waves and I think that especially in the um, law of attraction and with certain teachings this this concept of having positive relationships to emotions to actually processing like we hear a lot about shadow or processing work but like it's it's just it's a really interesting intricate balance that now I just feel like I'm I'm just rambling like usual but this is how I wanted to share myself this week and I'm just reassessing so many things and how I orchestrate my day-to-day -day life and really following the joy for me Like I love channeling and I love doing what I do and being connected to all these races, but something is, I'm, I am, I'm pushing myself to be vulnerable enough to be like, whoa, like I'm rattled to my core. That's exciting. What do I really want? And I know that I have these perspectives because of, I suppose in ways of who we all are collectively, you know? <laughs> and I really do feel completely that, like I've had, I've had a few um, 
really interesting CE5 contact experiences with what I believe to be Bella's ship. Yeah, I've been having these uh, contact experiences with Bella's ship and it's bringing up all of these emotions on the other side and and then like extremely positive almost frighteningly joyous sensations and I'm knowing that I am most excited about finding this middle point and connecting to the land right now has been so important for me. I'm buying local foods as much as possible and uh, I'll tack in a little montage that I was excited to film of some really beautiful produce that I got. Um, and connecting to the land and and, and <sighs> I'm restructuring the way that I do everything. And what that actually means and how I continue to to do this, I don't I don't I don't know. It's interesting. Like I scared I said like I'm tired. But I had excitement to do this and share this as well because this is the process. Sharing the process and then I have excitement about sharing the process which gives me excitement about these denser emotions. It's like a total Ouroboros experience. <laughs> so that being said, I still am booking sessions with Bella for people that are curious to interact with her because it is a different experience. It's an intense experience. And I like providing this experience here because it's integration for me. I get to be myself. And I feel like it's an important bridge position to be able to continue to share with you all like how, at least in my experience, I actually apply the things that are coming through me. And the, the broader perspectives that, that I am so appreciative to be aware of. Like how do I actually infuse that into my mind, heart, body, and soul? So if you would like to book a session with Bella, I will leave a link below. And if you like, you can like, subscribe if you like. And remember to ring the bell ding dong if you like to get notifications on new videos. Thank you to those of you who subscribed this week. And thank you to those of you who continue to support and encourage my journey this far. I sincerely appreciate it. The process is the point. We feel authentically. We respond honestly in each and every moment. And when you don't know, you know that that is something that you know. Knowing that you don't know. <laughs> our minds may be different. Our bodies may be different. But it is through our hearts that we know our spirits are one. Aloha!